and welcome to my maths class. Today we're going to learn how to use a calculator. Let us do a bit more challenging examples because when you work with these, specifically sin cos of 10, the level of questions are different. Right, when we are asked to calculate the angle, you must remember that number one, we need to get the ratio alone. But now you must be careful because to get the ratio alone is very deceiving in trig ratios. Anything immediately next to the ratio is permanently attached. So you don't get rid of anything that's attached to the ratio. If I gave you sin 2 theta, the 2 is next to the n and this is attached. It's one term. But if I gave you 2 sin theta, this 2 is not next to the ratio. It is not immediately next to the n. So you have to get rid of the 2. Another one is where I gave you sin theta plus 2. Again, this is not right next to the ratio. This 2 is totally away from the ratio. So you have to get rid of that 2. But if I gave you sin theta plus 20 and it's in a bracket, then it's next to the ratio, so I can't get rid of it. So when you are working with ratios, you must remember that anything before or anything separated with a plus, you're going to get rid of it. But anything after the ratio, you're going to keep it. So when I say get ratio alone, you're going to be challenging your algebra in that section. The second thing is once the ratio is alone, you're going to press shift the ratio and the value. If after the ratio there was any form where theta was not alone, then you would solve for theta. Right, let's do a few examples. Let's say I gave you cos theta is equal to root of 2 over 2. All you're going to do is press shift cos your calculator will auto automatically put an open bracket you press root of 2 over 2 close bracket and you have theta is equal to 45 degrees now if I gave you 2 cos theta is equal to root of 3 you have to get your ratio alone the 2 in front must be removed so we're going to divide by 2. Now we have cos theta is equal to root of 3 over 2. Your ratio is now alone. So you press shift. Your ratio shift cos root of 3 over 2, which will give us right. So again, you got your ratio alone. And once it was alone, you press shift ratio and your value. Your theta was immediately solved. Let's say we have 10 2 theta is equal to 3. Now if you look the 2 theta is right next to the 10. So you cannot separate it the way you did on top. You simply go to shift ratio. So we're going to press shift 10 and 3. Then you'd have 2 theta is equal to 71,57. Now what happened is as soon as you press shift your ratio fell. But your 2 theta is going down. You have to now solve for theta. So that is your algebra, divide by 2, divide by 2, and you'd have theta is equal to 35,78. Right. What if I had 2 sin theta plus 20 is equal to root of 3? Now, if you look at it, the theta plus 20 is in a bracket and it's next to the sin. 
so we can't move that but the two the two is in front of the sun so you're going to move it by dividing by two so now I have sin theta plus 20 is equal to root of 3 over 2. So my ratio now is alone except for the one that is attached to it. Now you press shift sin root of 3 over 2. We would have theta plus 20 because remember only the ratio is falling. So I'll have theta plus 20 is equal to 60 degrees. Then you need to solve for theta. So we're going to take the 20 over because we want theta alone. So it gives us 60 minus 20 which is equal to 40 degrees. Okay, these are the three main forms. The last type we have is if I give you 2 cos theta plus 1 is equal to 0. Now, we move our 1, so we have cos theta is equal to minus 1, divided by 2, so we will have cos theta is equal to minus 1 over 2. Then you're going to press it in your calculator, shift cos and you'd have theta is equal to 120. Thank you for watching.